Welcome to the discussion of gas turbine emission control and exhaust systems. This is a route map and summary, and it's part of a decision guide and part of an even larger service called gas turbine decisions. And this route map and summary was used for a 90 minute webinar, which is available to anyone who has sub subscribes to uh, gas turbine decisions. And we thoroughly went through all the um, aspects of and all the decisions and options that you have to make in selecting the exhaust systems for gas turbine emission control. And there are a number of uh, options that uh, and, and issues. Uh, you have to determine what the regulations are, uh, how much you're going to have to put in in terms of NOx control, what kind of catalyst you use operation and maintenance, reagents, um, how you get the reagents in, testing, and all these other things. And you have uh, noise considerations uh, on your exhaust stack and other things. And um, we first went through the regulations and then described the systems and some of the uh, considerations that you have to, uh, have to make. And then we went into both simple cycle uh, SCR, which is considerably different, of course, than the combined cycle because of the uh, temperatures or other, otherwise you have to use uh, uh, tempering air. And one of the uh, uh, participants was uh, from Eon in Europe, and they are looking at the possibility of having to retrofit a number of the gas turbines in Europe uh, with both uh, SCR and DO catalyst and so that's going to mean shoehorning uh, installations into existing HERSIGs and that uh, is a problem that we will be taking up in the future in more detail. There was a lot of uh, effort spent on discussion of catalysts and there are a, new, a number of uh, new catalysts and there are um, ways that catalysts are being used to maximize the efficiency. And in the system, as you can see here, we are summarizing the, uh, 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 the offerings of the various different catalyst suppliers, getting into subjects like the um, efficiency versus temperature, the high temperature applications versus the lower temperature applications, and then the um, CO catalysts as well as the NOx catalysts and the configurations of the various different honeycomb catalyst designs which are available. The um, people like Haldor Topso are moving ahead with new new catalyst designs. In fact, they have a combination, a uh, NOx and CO catalyst. So there are, are all these different layouts that are available. Uh, Americam is a major supplier with a number of different installations as well. The catalyst replacement is another consideration, although in gas turbines, it's certainly less than it is in the coal-fired boilers. Uh, ammonia distribution is another consideration CFD modeling is certainly advantageous, and if you're going to ins insert catalysts into an existing system, uh, that is another uh, challenge in terms of analyzing the uh, flow through the unit. The importance of reagents, there are some liquid urea reagents as, as well as uh, aqu aqueous and anhydrous ammonia. The the system, as you can see here, has a great deal of, uh, of information in it. And this is really just the guide to the more detailed information, which is up on the website, and also the fact that we are continually updating it. And we appreciate uh, your having the opportunity here and the time to look at uh, some of the aspects of this service that we are offering and we thank you for spending your time today to listen to 
information on the gas turbine uh, emission guide. This is Bob McElveen signing off. Thank you.